Most plants are pretty defenseless when it comes to being eaten. We do it all the time and they can't stop us. Uh, but there might be one that actually can defend itself, albeit indirectly. This is the serpentine columbine. Let's take a look at how it defends itself. Uh, basically what it does is it attracts bugs with a siren song, it's actually a siren scent, a chemical signal that attracts random nearby bugs who then detour to the columbine to check things out, but then they find themselves stuck on the sticky surfaces of the plant and eventually they die. The plant uses their corpses to deter predators. Gross. It's so cool though. <laughs> Honestly, I think this, this plant is literally like necromancer plant, you know, using wall of corpses, <laughs> different like, like bone shield, or but they're, they're, they're not, okay, so yeah, basically, I think this is, this is great, and, uh, and, you know, they were saying that there, there's probably, they've discovered it mm -hmm. recently and identified what's actually happening, but then they're like, wait, this is, this is probably exists farther out there, we've never just noticed, oh, it's not eating it like a Venus flytrap or any of those other plants. No. They're actually using it to deter, and the fact that they have have like, mm, look at this smorgasbord on me, they get other carnivorous insects like spiders and things to come and like post up camp, and then they get their own little bodyguards. That's pretty sweet. That's, I mean, if I was a plant. It's called carrion provisioning. <gasps> I like it. Or corpse wall, depending on corpse who wall. You speak to. <laughs> corpse wall. <laughs> and it's really interesting to see this. So some UCD, UC Davis biologists. It's so weird for me to say UCD. UC Davis biologists uh, conducted a study uh, to find out whether the Columbine indeed attracted tourist insects, mm -hmm. tourists who then are killed on the tour. Because they're taking uh, pictures and they don't see the bus coming. It's like uh, those horrible movies where that happened, but with bugs. Uh, through some chemical mechanism, and the second uh, thing that they wanted to determine was whether or not the carrion actually had a beneficial effect. And they did find out positively both of those uh, things, that yes, this it is emitting a chemical uh, attraction, and yes, this carrion is helping a lot, as you explained with the spider. It's really interesting uh, to see this specifically happen on this plant, because it hasn't been observed before. I just like the beginning, like, ha ha, we've been eating them for generations, and they're like, oh no, help me, and we just eat them, and it's like, ha ha ha, and then this one's like, you know what, I'm gonna dabble in the black magics, and corpse wall! Sometimes black magic is the only way to be, and that's how I'm gonna end this segment. Audience, what do you think of this plant, and have you uh, seen any other really interesting adaptive strategies? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.